Among men and women in the United States, colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death. It is projected that there may be nearly 140,000 new cases in 2020 alone, meaning nearly one in 20 may be diagnosed with colorectal cancer. Colon cancer. Sometimes you hear it called colorectal cancer. Basically, we're talking about the same disease. This is a very common and a very serious and potentially fatal disease. If you reach the age of 50, you have about a five to 6% chance of developing colon cancer in your remaining lifetime. That's a one in 20 chance. And about a two to 3% chance of dying from it. A lot of people think that it's a disease that affects just men, but actually both men and women are at risk and need to consider getting checked. Some people think it may affect one racial group way more than another. All racial and ethnic groups are at risk. And one of the things that people often don't understand or they tell themselves they're, they're probably okay is because they don't have any symptoms. Doesn't matter. There still can be something serious going on. It is extremely important to screen for colon cancer. It really doesn't matter what methodology you use, as long as you use one that is validated and can help detect precancerous polyps early so that we can remove them and prevent them from turning into cancer. Additionally, when we do colon cancer screening, we can detect small cancers that can be removed and highly treatable before they can become deadly. It's common knowledge among medical professionals that screening for colon cancer can stop colon cancer in its tracks. Colorectal cancer screening has the potential to save many thousands of lives each year. The colonoscopy is the only test out there that can not only find the precancerous polyp, but remove it at the same time. Every other test that's out there may be able to detect precancerous polyps, but it cannot remove the actual polyp at the same time. Colonoscopy is literally the only test that can find the polyp and remove it to prevent you from developing colon cancer. The incidence and the rates of colorectal cancer has actually decreased by about 4% per year in patients over the age of 50, but it's increased by about 2% per year in patients under 50 with a new diagnosis of colorectal cancer. So there's several theories as to why there's an increased rate of colorectal cancer in young patients. The normal flora of the GI tract plays a major role in many disease processes. Possibly alteration of this gut microbiome may lead to colorectal cancer. There's also been change in our diet over the years. We follow a Western non-Mediterranean diet with processed foods, red meats, and also low fiber intake. In addition to that, there's always genetics. So patients who have a family history of colorectal cancer or colorectal cancer syndromes in their family are also at an increased risk of developing colorectal cancer at a younger age. The first step is for physicians and patients to recognize someone who may be at risk for colorectal cancer and order the appropriate testing. As the leader in advancing patient care and digestive health, the American Society for Gastrointestinal Endoscopy recommends everyone has a colorectal cancer screening at age 45 to 50 or sooner depending on risk factors. The ASGE is a pioneer in helping to decrease the risk for colon cancer by partnering up with industry, by teaching physicians, by providing education, we are able to decrease the risk for patients to develop colon cancer. By doing that, we're having more and more people live happy and healthy lives. The ASGE, or the American Society for Gastrointestinal Endoscopy, is the leading organization in the world for people who do endoscopy. This organization is almost 80 years old. It has more than 14,000 members, both in the United States and around the world. And the purpose of the ASGE is to help its members and other people who are performing endoscopic procedures provide the very best quality and performance that they can for their patients. We do that through all forms of education, including courses that are held at our center here in Chicago, as well as an extensive website that has huge numbers of educational videos. Colonoscopy is the most commonly performed endoscopic procedure in the Western world, including the United States, and one of the most commonly performed medical procedures in the world. Colonoscopy is unparalleled in its ability to detect polyps. And if we find polyps and remove them, we can actually prevent colon cancer from occurring. The American Society of Gastrointestinal Endoscopy's goal is to promote excellence and innovative gastrointestinal endoscopy. As the foremost resource for endoscopic education, ASGE envisions a future 
where colorectal cancer is on the decline thanks to increased patient awareness. As we know, colonoscopy is the gold standard for detecting colorectal cancer, and there's a lot of exciting technology coming down the pipeline. Most of that's in the way of artificial intelligence, where we're actually training computers to recognize polyps during colonoscopy, and this can only help physicians. The more polyps we detect, hopefully the more colorectal cancer we can prevent, or at least catch early. So if we can detect certain molecules or particles related to colorectal cancer or polyps in non-invasive sampling, such as in blood, urine, or stool, this could be helpful. And if we can find non-invasive ways of testing patients to see who is high risk enough, we can identify the right patients to send for colonoscopy. Some of the main missions that the ASG has is, number one, partnering with other organizations to help determine what are the best technologies and strategies to help screen patients most effectively. Also, we want to fund research to determine what are some of the best methodologies in screening, and also what are the best treatments for colon cancer. Ultimately, our goal is to make sure that we can prevent every colon cancer from developing that we possibly can by endoscopy. To learn more, contact us today.